I used to watch a programme called Get Your Own Back. <laughs> Big show in the 90s. I'll explain the premise of the show to the more mature audience members. It was hosted by a guy called Dave Benson Phillips. <laughs> Big Dave, as you can see, a fanny magnet. Right, Dave Benson Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> In the show, they'd get these kids on who wanted to get their own back on a family member who had done something to annoy them. And it was always like, you know, they'd tell the story about what their family member had done, and then they'd bring on the family member, and everybody would boo. It's normally a guy, and they'd boo, go boo. <laughs> How could you do that? Boo. <laughs> <laughs> And then they would gunge the guy, pour, cover him in gunge and go, boo, serves you right. So you get gunged, boo. And that was it. Revenge. Revenge had been had. Revenge. It was always really, really shite stories. <laughs> but I'm here, I'm here to get my own back on my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Because we were in the car and he, he farted. <laughs> And it was absolutely disgusting. <laughs> and he wouldn't put down the window. <laughs> I used to watch this every day. <laughs> Just one day, sort of hoping for something a bit more hard hitting. <laughs> I'm here to get my own back on my Uncle Ronnie. Because <laughs> he's a pedo. Everybody's going boo. <laughs> Gunge that pedo. Gunge that beast. When's the last time you turned on the TV and seen a pedo gungeon? Everybody had a dodgy uncle or a dodgy teacher. I don't know. We, we, we had a maths teacher, a bit dodgy, but a pervert maths teacher. You know, you'd forget your calculator, he'd make you do the class in your vest and pants. <laughs> your favourite subject at school? PE. PE. Same here, Matt. I was always the fat guy that brought in a note. <laughs> Please excuse Kevin from volleyball. He's fucked off to the chip van. <laughs> That's what PE stood for for me. Please excuse. <laughs> and my favourite subject was woodwork, as we know. Woodwork. Everybody's woodwork teacher was a functioning alcoholic. <laughs> we had a woodwork teacher, his name was Mr. Brundle. So we'd come in in the mornings and we'd shout, let's get ready to Brundle. <laughs> and everybody else in the class was ready to Brundle, except this guy. He was fucked. <laughs> his brundling days were over. <laughs> He'd just be sitting at his desk, about 25 minutes into the woodwork class, and just sitting there. Just going. <laughs> and he'd face the class and just say, right, kids, I've had a tough. Tough weekend. I've had a tough time this weekend. I was supposed to go to IKEA, but I spent my week's wages in odd bins. <laughs> so when I use wee pricks, make me a spice rack. <laughs> when you were 12, that was a lot of stress. Give me a quid, or you're getting stabbed. Just you.